Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Material Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. So now let's get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one asks, how can I calculate delta G of a reaction? Okay, so first I'll just write the definition of delta G. So delta G is the change in the standard free energy of a chemical reaction. And it stands for Gibbs free energy. Okay, so delta G can be calculated using the following equation, where delta G is equal to delta H minus T times delta S. So delta H is the enthalpy of the system. And delta S is the entropy of the system. Okay, so I'll also write how to calculate both delta H and delta S. So delta H can be found by taking the delta H of your products minus the delta H of your reactants. And similarly, you can do the same thing for delta S, where delta S is equal to del delta S of your products minus the delta S of your reactants. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. The standard free energy of a chemical reaction, G, is also called Gibbs free energy and can be computed using G is equal to H minus T times S, where it is defined as the difference between the enthalpy of the system, H, and the product of temperature and T and entropy, S, of the system. <clears throat> For the change in Gibbs free energy present in a chemical reaction, this can be calculated via delta G is equal to delta H minus T times delta S for constant temperature systems. The enthalpic change in the system can be easily calculated by subtracting the enthalpy of the product on the enthalpy of the reactants. Yep, so delta H is equal to delta H of your products minus delta H of your reactants. Similarly, the entropy change in the chemical reaction is computed in the same manner. Yep, so the solution is correct. And 
And now we can move on to question number.